Alonzo Clark, Los Angeles. Uh, given the fact that you yourself and probably your senior staff crew are the superstars of the line, how long are you guys going to man the uh, actively man the ship before you turn it over to someone else? Superstars. Superstars. Thank you. We're <laughs> not going anywhere. I will, uh, unfortunately, only be on for one more cruise. Uh, next next cruise is, is my last cruise. I, I've been on since uh, before delivery. So brought her all the way, delivery brought her all the way over, and it's just been uh, just been a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, Ken and I, we, we've done this before. We did it in 2006 with, uh, with Freedom of the Seas. Uh, so I go back to my day job, which is that, that office position. So uh, now I get to drive down I-95 in Miami to get to work instead of walking right out of my office onto the bridge, which is, uh, which is pretty convenient. So, so it's going to start changing. I'm probably one of the first senior officers that's going to, uh, going to be leaving. But uh, our contracts typically vary on the Marine side. We're usually on board for 10 weeks and then 10 weeks off. Um, that's if I was a Marine captain. Because I have this SVP job, I get one day off. And then I go back, go back to the office uh, after, after signing off the ship. So uh, it's going to be a natural transition. So we'll have uh, new officers coming on. But they've been part of the startup as well. They've been involved in a lot of the training. So uh, our intention is, is that uh, that transition will be pretty, uh, pretty bumpless, uh, pretty seamless. We're going to hold on one second. Uh, yep, we're going to go over here, and then we'll come back in the round. I'll, you guys, because I can see everybody, I'll let you know who had their hand up the longest and who's next. And we'll, we'll get to everybody, so don't worry about that. But just in case you guys didn't hear this the other day, when we talked to the captain on the uh, television show I did earlier, his other job is he's the senior vice president of marine operations in Miami. So he is in charge of all the captains that work for Royal Caribbean. So that's what he goes back to, and that's what he's been having to do here. He's still doing uh, his job here on the ship, but he also is the captain. I think it's pretty great that he actually comes back to work on the ship so that when his captain talks to him about the experience, he knows exactly because he runs it firsthand. So we definitely aren't going to miss him, that's for sure. We wish you could stay here all the time. So that's uh, that's something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it really is a, a huge advantage as, as a leader to be able to go out and actually practice hands-on, just hands on, uh, be in the operation. Uh, just really is a, is, is a big asset for me when I do go back to, uh, to the office in my own. Okay, we'll go in the back end, yeah. uh, In our state rooms on our personal television sets, I'd love to see a channel dedicated to showing us exactly where we are located uh, you're absolutely correct. We do have that uh, across our fleet. If you've been on our ships, we have that. And as a matter of fact, this channel is coming very soon uh, on board the Oasis. As a matter of fact, the gentleman who's in charge of that just joined us yesterday. Uh, but the, the system we will be having here is even more sophisticated. We'll give even more information. It's a brand new system and uh, will be in place within the next few weeks. So, well, We'll have that uh, sometime soon. On your next cruise with us, uh, you'll be able to have this, uh, this option. Captain Steve Strobo from Fairfax, Virginia. Um, as Royal Caribbean ships get bigger and bigger, what considerations are made in the design of the ships so that the passengers still feel the essence of being at sea and not on a resort that may never see this, the ocean. That's a concern. Okay, well, I think there's that's an interesting question. That's, uh, that's uh, an unusual question, so thank you for that. Because usually we get a lot, of the, a lot of the same types of questions. I think it's, uh, I mean, obviously, one of, the, one of the threads that goes through all of our ships is, is the schooner bar, although here you don't have a view of the sea directly, but uh, there's, there's certainly a lot of opportunity to look at the ocean, but you're, you're right, these are becoming uh, the ships, uh, certainly the oasis and the lure are in many ways destinations unto themselves. And uh, what we're, the feedback that we're receiving from, from our guests is, is, is very positive. Although, the, uh, admittedly, when you're in Central Park and that little that little space, that little environment, uh, you don't really understand that you're on a ship on the high seas. That's that's for sure. And I guess you could say that was that was very much part of the intention was that we could create that little uh, that little oasis within the oasis of, uh, of, of an experience in uh, Central Park and the Royal Promenade and the Boardwalk. So um, I don't think the 
creating a, a seafaring or a nautical environment is, is central to our design team. I think we're, we're listening to our guests. And one of the questions we do get quite often is why, why do we always build bigger ships? And we're not building larger ships because we just want to build larger ships. We're building larger ships to truly just answer the, uh, the, uh, the requests and the expectations that our guests are setting. Because each time we raise the bar a little bit, then it becomes a challenge for ourselves and we need to kind of uh, raise it a little bit more the next time. So, so it's, that's, that's the essence of the process of the designing. My name is Arthur Zelenak from Florida. Uh, my question, and I have a comment, my question is, who will the two new captains be on the Oasis of the Sea? And my comment is that there's so much detail on this ship. And my better half is an artist, and she notices everything. In the shower, for instance, there's a little bar that women could use to put their legs on, and they say, do whatever they do. Legs are clapping. Yes. Shave their legs, yes. I guess men could use it too. <laughs> but there are a lot of attentions to details, so, so thank you for that. Um, oh, yeah, two captains. Sorry, sorry, thank you. Um, uh, Captain Tude, listen to these names. I don't know why we did this to ourselves, but we did it. The captain that's coming on board this Saturday will have one week of overlap, but together with me, he's Tuula Tuulbolson from Norway. And the captain that he will share the ship with, who will come back in March, is Tuula Olsen. So we got Tuula Olsen and Tuula Tuulbolson. Any, any Norwegians out there? Okay, no, no Norwegians in there. Okay, so uh, they almost sound the same when people are pronouncing it. So. Yes, sir. 